What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Samsung has started rolling out some updates to its applications on the Galaxy phones. In today's video, let's go ahead and take a look at them. Now let me just go to the update section here on the Galaxy store. As you can see, we've got three important updates available here. Quick share connectivity, continuity service, and automatic verification. Now let's begin with the automatic verification here. Now this is something which we usually don't see in the update section. It's a very rare update that we have got. Let me just show you the latest version here. This is 1.0.02.0. So this is one of the initial versions we have here. And the updated date is 9 September 2025. Just a few days ago, but I have received the update now. And the size is quite small. It is 2.42 MB. Now let me just tell you what exactly this application does. There is nothing, there's no change log here, but let me tell you what this does. It says the automatic verification feature prevents websites from using data collected during user authentication process to track your activities. You can use automatic verification to skip the capture step on websites. So what this basically does is it will prevent the websites, any third party websites or any websites that you're browsing on Samsung internet application from using data collected during user authentication process. Now we all know what is user authentication process. Whenever we are signing in or logging into a specific uh, website, we will enter the user ID and password and once we enter it, we save that user ID and password within the browser, let's say for example, Samsung internet. And the next time you try to log in, the phone will ask you to authenticate it, maybe using your fingerprint or face ID. Then let's say you use the fingerprint, the data will be authenticated on the device. It will match your fingerprint with the stored data and then allows you to log into the website by automatically adding the user ID and password. So that is automatic verification. And during this process, the website that you're using may collect some data to track your activity. So that is the reason why this update is very, very important, why this automatic verification application is very important. It further says this feature only works on websites that support automatic verification, may not be on all the websites. You can turn on automatic verification using the smart anti track feature on Samsung internet. The feature is available on Galaxy devices running One UI 7 or higher. So if you're on One UI 6.1, 6.0 or 5.0, then you may not be able to use this feature. It's available on One UI 7 or higher. And you can turn this on on Samsung internet application by using the smart anti-tracking. So let's go ahead and update the application here. And then let's check out the Samsung internet application. Let's go to internet. We have got the application right here. Now let me tap on the menu button here and tap on settings. Now here, let's tap on privacy dashboard. You can see it says seven trackers blocked 69 times today. So there will be trackers every time you browse on the internet application and the smart anti-tracking feature blocks them. Now this is where we have got smart anti-tracking option. Let me tap on this and here we go. We have got automatic verification toggle right here. It may be enabled by default. If it is not enabled, you can enable it. This will allow you to skip captures on supported sites so they can't use data collected during verification to track you. So very critical, very important a toggle to enable. If it is not already enabled on your device, go ahead and enable this and make sure you update this particular application, automatic verification on your Galaxy 4. That is the first one. Then we have got continuity services. Now, if you're new to Samsung and if you don't know what is continuity service, Samsung phones enables you to continue using a specific application on another device seamlessly. Now, let me show you how that works. Let's say now we are using Samsung Notes application and I have typed something over here. Now, let's say I want to continue this note on another Samsung device, which is also logged in with the same Samsung account, then I will be able to do that. Let's say now I have got the Galaxy S24 Ultra here. I want to uh, continue using uh, using this note on this device. All I need to do is just go to recent application. As you can see right here on top, Samsung Notes is mentioned because this is being used on my other device on which I have logged into the same Samsung account. Now I can just tap on open. You can see the same note is available right here. Now let's say I will type something more here and I go to recents and here we go. We got Samsung notes. Let me tap on open. The same note has been synced on this device as well. Now you will be able to see that content that I just typed over there. It's syncing. Yeah, here it is. I have run randomly typed something over here, but this is how this feature works. This is called continuity service and this works even on Samsung internet. Let's say I'm using a specific website here. 
uh, I have logged into some website and if I go to the recent application here, you can see Samsung internet is showing up right here. I can tap on this to open the same website on this device as well. Now this will be very useful if you're using a Samsung's a tablet or maybe a Samsung's Windows laptop where you're browsing something on the phone and you want to continue working on the tablet or PC, then you will be able to do that very easily using this continuity service. Now this also has received a brand new update. Let me just go to the update section here again. Now this does not have a change log. It just uh, gives you a new version 1.3.09.1 and you can see in the description it says you can continue apps where you left off on other devices, supported applications for Samsung internet and Samsung notes, the Galaxy Buds switch automatically to other phones and tablets when a call, be uh, call begins or media starts playing that is also supported with this application and you can easily type text on your phone with the tablet's book cover keyboard. Now all these features are supported using this particular application continuity service and this also has got a brand new version again it was updated a few days ago with a size of 8.10 mb now these updates may or may not be available in your region it depends you know it might get late or you might have already received it just keep that in mind and we also have another update here that is for the quick share connectivity let's tap on this now we have got a brand new quick share already you will be able to install this brand new quick share on your uh, one device seven devices as well i've already posted a video about it now if i activate quick share here you will be able to see the brand new interface where we have got receive tab and send tab uh, i have already posted a detailed video about this brand new quick share and there is an apk if you want to try it out you will be able to install it on your devices running on one device seven as well go ahead and check it out now this quick share connectivity also has got a brand new update in the change log it says provides quick and easy selection of receiving device by recommending the same account accounts my device or frequently shared devices support seamless file transmission via internet even while sharing files out of wi-fi range so if you're not in the wi-fi range it will also support sharing files through internet your phone's internet that is a very important feature which recently got added and then support sharing original gallery stories you'll be able to share the gallery stories as well now so let me just go ahead and show you the version number it's 1.5.10.27 and the size is 1.75 MB. Let me just go ahead and update this. Now let's go to gallery and let's go to the stories here. Now let's say I've got this particular story over here. Uh, what I can do is I can just open the story and I will be able to share the story right from here. Uh, share story content or share story video. Let me tap on share story uh, video. And now I'll be able to use quick share to share this story. Now that's a brand new feature which was uh, recently added and we have got seamless file transmission via internet even while sharing files out of Wi-Fi range. Let me show you that. Let's go to the settings on quick share and here you can see allow sharing over internet. This got recently added. If it's not possible to share using a direct connection, sharing will continue over the internet using Wi-Fi or mobile data. Now generally when you share uh, files between the Samsung Galaxy devices using quick share, there will be a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, network which will be created and it's a direct share. The device will create a network between the devices and the files will be shared. It doesn't require your Wi-Fi or internet. But in case, if it is not possible to share using a direct connection on another phone, sharing will continue over the internet using Wi-Fi or mobile data, which means in case if it gets disconnected while sharing the files using the peer-to-peer -peer network, then the sharing will continue over the internet using Wi-Fi or mobile data. Now by default this will be enabled. If it is not enabled, go ahead and enable this. Now these are some of the updates that we have received for these three important applications. I think you should go ahead and update it. And while you do that, be sure to hit the subscribe button. You will learn a lot about your device, updates, new features, tips and tricks, etc. And don't forget to hit the like button and do not forget to download our wallpaper application Volvers. We offer this beautiful wallpaper application with tons of wallpapers available. Some brand new collections were recently added and we also have uh, video wallpapers but we'll be removing the video wallpaper from the application temporarily because uh, it is creating some issue on the app so we will have to rectify it. So temporarily we may remove the video wallpapers. Uh, so if you're interested in any of these video wallpapers go ahead and download it right away. It is actually uh, slow to buffer and download so that is one uh, major issue that we are facing so we might have to upgrade our servers and then uh, you know add the uh, video wallpapers in the future which we will do it soon but if you are interested in any of the existing video wallpapers go ahead and download it on the application that's all i want to share with you guys thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye